for 62 years, the foundation of our dear country, Nigeria, was laid through sacrifice of men, women, young and old, conscientious natives, and even foreigners who saw colonial oppression as a quagmire that needed to be resisted at that time. The sharp burning pain, the resultant feeling, was stung by the bee of freedom, got a lot of our people to fight for independence of the Nigerian state, starting with the motion moved by Antonia Nahoro, as he then was, in 1953, which later came to fruition in 1960. The Declaration of Independence, which was supposed to end long nights of suffering and pain by our people, uh, has turned out to become a different reality through different republics of our statehood, from military rule to civilian regimes, uh, that has shown that independence did not bring about true independence and happiness for the people of Nigeria. It's an unfortunate fact that the leadership of each republic was peopled by scavenging characters who egregiously feasted on our collective patrimony and plundered both our capital and human resources. Looking back today, one may agree that despite many pushback from the masses, the shackles of oppression are yet to be broken totally. Considering this unfortunate history, I present myself once again as a candidate for the exalted office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is time to halt total descent into anarchy, penury, and abyss. Considering this, there comes a time that men of conscience with passion, compassion, competence, and courage step up to the plate. Today I declare to run for the presidency and I welcome you to spread the news to all nooks and crannies of Nigeria. Tell them help has arrived and we are taking our country back because we can no longer continue like this. My closeness with other competitors who have been fighting for sanity to return to this space is that we can't continue like this. The killings of our people can't continue. The poverty in the midst of plenty can't continue. The wanton corruption can't continue. The impunity in our system can't continue. The violation of human rights can continue. We just can't continue like this. My name is Omoyele Shore, and as of today, as I've always done, I put myself forward to lead the charge towards our liberation. I declare to run for the office of the President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, in the forthcoming elections. I am hopeful that you join me in the race to liberate ourselves from the stranglehold of our oppressors, and I can assure you that victory is certain. And to say, according to Victor Hugo, no force on earth can stop an idea whose time has come. Thank you. The two major criminal political parties, the APC and the PDP, are going to stop functioning after today. I'm not making just an ordinary declaration. Our declaration today follows the path of what we started doing in 2018 and 2019. And that was that this country is in need of a revolution. And that revolution must bring about total freedom for the Nigerian people. That was why in 2018, I moved around the nooks and crannies of Nigeria. We visited markets, schools, roads. We went to farms. We traveled by road. We traveled by water. We traveled by air across Nigeria. We covered over 35 states. And we had leaders. The hardest farmer crisis would have been resolved in a very simple way. Had we had leaders, you will have hospitals that function today such that the president of Nigeria cannot treat himself of common cold in Nigeria. Had we had leaders, some of them that are contesting today would never go near the position 
of power. Have you had a country? You will not be in the condition that you are in today as young people. Because it looks as if Nigeria was made and created to come and punish you. And the reason I'm standing in front of you today is not to give any long speeches anymore. In fact, we are going to release a bunch of videos today that will tell you that we have already discussed the solution to Nigeria's problem. Starting from security. Starting from the issue of power. Because if you don't have electricity, you are not alive. Starting from the issue of infrastructure. If you don't have roads, you are immobile. Starting from the issue of corruption. If they steal all your money, you have no future. Starting from the issue of education. If you can't go to school, you are dead. Starting from the issue of restructuring because Nigeria has become an old engine that must be fixed. But I am not talking about the old restructuring. I'm talking about our own type of restructuring that involves reconstruction of Nigeria from the beginning to the end. Starting from the issue of wealth. Starting from the issue of agriculture. Because if you have no food, you are also dead. Talking about the issue of technology. And this is where it is important. Nigeria has young people, young, vibrant, technologically inclined young people. But it is being run by people who have analog brain. It is like buying a Nokia 3310. I'm not talking about MC 3310, right? And you want to go and upload applications on it. Is it going to work? We have pushed out to even our brothers in the southeast who said they are tired of Nigeria, IFOP members. And we are telling them that if Nigeria doesn't work for you, you have a right to say you don't want Nigeria. I'm not going to lie. But we are going to make sure that Nigeria works for everybody. We need justice, and that's what they ask for, and we are going to give them justice. Therefore, as soon as I become the president of Nigeria, because it's not a matter of whether I will be, we are talking to the first democratically elected president of Nigeria. We are going to reintegrate the East. But first and foremost, we must apologize to Igbos for the monumental injustices Nigeria carried out against them. We have reached out to our Yoruba brothers who said they want to leave. And we have told them, we should not leave this country for the people who destroyed it. It is those people that should leave the country for us. That they should stay in their country and let those who are destroying it be the ones on the run, not us. We have reached out to Shiites and told them that they deserve the right to practice their religion in Nigeria or their convictions. Like MC 33 said here, this is not a religious gathering, no. This is not an ethnic gathering. It is not any of those things that you are used to in Nigeria. This is the gathering of people of conscience. I want to end this by singing my favorite revolution song. And I hope you sing along with me. And it goes like this. Aluta continua victoria sata revolution.